here we have a weather update chart of Mumbai for a particular week. Now look at this icon. This icon symbolizes that this particular day is going to experience thunderstorm. Now not only this particular day but this entire week is going to experience a bad weather owing to rainfall and thunderstorms. Now here we have a what called precipitation. 100% precipitation means that the chances or probability of rainfall is 100%. Now what does precipitation mean? In the process of water cycle we read that water evaporates in the form of water vapor from surface water bodies. These water vapor condenses into water droplets on reaching high. This is where the process of condensation begins and clouds are formed. The clouds eventually grow in size as more water drops join them. Now when these clouds become too heavy they come down as rain or snow. Thus water can come down as rain or snow. Now this process in which water present in air fall onto the earth's surface on any form that is in liquid form or solid form is known as precipitation. So in the process of precipitation water may fall onto the earth's surface in the form of rain or snow. Thus water may fall onto the earth's surface in any form that is in liquid state or solid state. So based on this precipitation can be classified into various types. We shall now discuss about different types of precipitation. You must have heard people saying that if ants are building their mounds higher or if they are building their mounds with different materials then it might indicate arrival of rain. Some people also say that if ants are too active and if they are moving with eggs in their mouths then it might indicate arrival of monsoon or rainy season. Thus ants can predict rain by changing their behavior. That's interesting, isn't it? So now let's understand the meaning of rain. In the process of water cycle, we read that water falls onto the earth's surface in the form of water drops. These water drops falling onto the earth's surface from the atmosphere is called rain. The diameter of raindrops may vary from 0.5 mm to 6.35 mm. Rain is an integral part of human lives and of all living beings. Agriculture, that is the art of growing crops, is dependent on rain. Thus, rain is very essential for us. Rain is the natural supplier of fresh water on earth, apart from surface water bodies like ocean, seas, etc. Wow! Look at this beautiful arch of a rainbow. This is a fascinating natural phenomena and it's usually observed on a bright sunny day just after a heavy rainfall. Rainbow is actually a band of seven colors. Can you name all the seven colors? Well, there is a trick to remember all the seven colors of a rainbow and that is Vibjir. V I, B, G, Y, 
O R, where V stands for violet, I stands for indigo, B stands for blue, G stands for green, Y stands for yellow and O stands for orange and finally R stands for red. Rainbow is a very rare sight and you can only see it if you are lucky enough. So rain is the most common type of precipitation. Well, there are other forms of precipitation as well. Let's know about them. I just mentioned that the diameter of raindrops vary between 0.5 millimeter to 6.35 millimeter. However, if the diameter of raindrops are less than 0.5 millimeter, then it is known as drizzle. So, drizzle indicates light shower with fine water drops. Now, before we proceed with our lesson, let us try to answer this. Light shower with fine water drops is called drizzle, rain, cyclone or snow? Well, the correct answer is drizzle. Drizzle indicates light shower with fine water drops. Christmas is one of my favorite festivals. The Europeans build this beautiful snowman during Christmas with friends and family. This object is entirely made of snow. Now this snow is very different from the kind of ice cubes that we see because this snow is very dense than the ice cubes. This snow is usually formed in nature. Let's see how. Snow is directly formed from the water vapor present in air and this happens when the temperature is below the freezing point. This usually happens in the upper part of the troposphere where the temperature is very low such that the water vapor present in air directly transforms into ice crystals. And when the air becomes saturated with ice crystals, they come down as snow. So, what is snow? Snow are the white crystals that are formed when atmospheric water vapor freezes into ice. Now, snowfall is very common in cold countries where the temperature is very low that is below freezing point. Look at these pictures. In this picture we can see different white crystals. Each of these white crystals are snowflakes. So snowflakes as we can see from the picture are of different sizes and structure. However, most commonly a snowflake looks like a star. So till now we have discussed about two forms of precipitation that is rain and snow. Let us know about other forms of precipitation. We just now learned that snow is formed in the cold upper part of troposphere. Now there is also vertical circulation of air in nature that is rising of warm air and sinking of cold air. This rising of warm air and sinking of cold air is known as convectional currents. Now due to these circumstances or convectional currents we have alternate layers of cold and warm air. Now snow is formed in the cold upper layer as the snow falls and reaches the warm air it melts and again as it hits the cold layer lying just above the earth's surface it refreezes. So finally we have a combination of water drops and ice crystals. So we find that 
in nature due to various processes we have a combination of raindrops and snow this combination of raindrops and snow is known as sleet sleet may occur anywhere in the world that is in cold countries as well as in warm tropical countries Sometimes large ice balls are formed due to attaching and freezing of water droplets in a large cloud. The lower part of this cloud is above freezing point and the upper part is below freezing point. So ice crystals are formed in the upper part that is below freezing point and water droplets are present in the lower part that is above freezing point. Now, as these ice balls fall to the earth's surface, they are again pushed up back by the updraft or uprising of storm. Now, as the ice balls are juggled by storm, the liquid water droplets heat them and freezes and attach to the ice balls. This causes the ice balls to increase in size. Now, when these ice balls are too heavy to remain in cloud, they fall down to the earth's surface. In the previous video, we saw how huge chunks of ice are formed. Now, these huge chunks of ice fall down from the sky and they are usually accompanied by a thunderstorm. So, these huge chunks of ice that fall down from the sky onto the earth's surface is known as hail. And this is usually accompanied by a thunderstorm. Now, the huge chunks of ice balls are known as hail stones. Now, in this picture, we can see many hailstones. The size of these hailstones depends on the intensity of the storm. The greater the intensity of the storm, the greater or larger is the hailstone. If these hailstones are quite big and large, then they can cause disasters as they damage human properties like cars and buildings. Hailstorms can also occur anywhere in the world but they are usually common in mountainous regions. So hail is another form of precipitation and this form of precipitation can be dangerous if the size of hailstones are very huge. So, in today's video, we discuss about different forms of precipitation. The most common form of precipitation is rain. Another common form of precipitation is snow. It is usually experienced in cold countries. Now, drizzle is very similar to rain. The only difference between rain and drizzle is that the water drops in case of drizzle are very tiny. Other forms of precipitation are sleet and hail. Sleet, as we just discussed, is a combination of rain and snow. The final form of precipitation that we discussed is hail. Hail is usually accompanied by a thunderstorm. So, these are the different forms of precipitation that we discussed in today's video. In our next video, we will discuss about different forms of rainfall. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon. You can also register for free at deltastep.com or download the Delta Step app to learn one to one with our amazing teachers or to get access to our 5000 amazing videos as per your school syllabus. Master each topic with our adaptive practice technology. Get million plus questions with step by step solutions and unlimited mock tests. Get all your doubt resolved instantly. Learn via games and win amazing prizes like playstations and ipads 
So at Delta Step, learning is not just fun and easy, but it's rewarding too. So register for free now.